so it's a song about that and um, I foolishly called my first album The Infrastructure Superstar and no one got the irony, they all thought I was talking about me um, but what the song was about everybody who's doing shit jobs um, and some days, like, some days my job would consist of just putting letters in envelopes for hours on end and it was so tedious so I was thinking, why did I go to college? Why, did, why, why am I doing this? And then I'd go, okay, I'm going to be the best folder of letters into envelopes. So it became quite zen, like, my experience. Um, and I think I was really lonely at the time as well. My mum and dad had emigrated to Australia a few years before. And I was living in London and I didn't have any close family there. Um, so I was a bit sad. But, there you go. Was that a long way on board though? It's good though. I hope that helps. It's funny because I, I, I went through phase of being really ashamed of that record. Not shamed, but like, no one got the irony. And like, loads of press people just imagined it was all about me wanting to be famous. Um, which, for those of you who have been with my career for these many years, will know if that was my motivation. I should have given up fucking ages ago. Someone, someone wants to know, what are the advantages um, of using your own music label to publish your music? Um, well, not money. <laughs> Creative control, I suppose, and satisfaction. You do things you, the way you want to do it, and you have a direct link between you and, um, and your audience. And I think it also means that you get a less distilled... You get a... It's distilled, like... Distilled means the most condensed form of something, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's the purest. Yeah, so you get the most... A more distilled form of your self and your work um, than if you have to go to lots of people. The flip side is you generally are very um, limited in the amount of people you can reach. So if you imagine running your own company is a bit like doing your thing but only being able to put up a poster outside your office and then when you go to a big company they've got a oh, fuck off my megaphone and billboards and they go hello <laughs> so that's the difference is that a good difference yeah yeah but i, I mean they're, they're pros and cons and i think I, I definitely do things my own way a lot of the time and that means that i get to do what i want that's no bad thing Life's too short to do what other people want to do. But then you, you've, you've, you've got both sides. I've got both sides, yes. I'm, very, I'm in a very fortunate position. In that I get to do my own thing, but I also um, I, I, um, I have other things going on. Okay, well, and we can do questions if you want. There's some shout-outs from uh, George and Lovebird and Custard the Budgies. Oh, George and Custard, they're little lovebirds. They're big Kylie Minogue fans. I know, yeah. They are. Yeah. Oh, should I play something? Well, what time is it in all of this? Well, it's it's 21.34. And Spain won sooner, if you're wondering. Oh, Spain won? Yeah. I watched the Portugal thing, it was rather amazing. Um, well, now, are we having a poll tonight or no? We have a poll, actually. What is the poll? Well, it's, it's I'm not even sure if you know how to play, well I mean I obviously know how to play them all because you write them, but whether you've uh, in full memory of all of the ones that we've You've done a poll without part. telling me haven't you? Well, well, well we've all done a poll together. Oh right okay. Um, Break Up With The Disco is yeah. doing rather well. Drive is in there, it's, it's not doing so well. I probably deserve it okay. but winning at the moment is coming home for Father's Day. <laughs> You're a soppy bunch of buggers, isn't Jeff? Um, okay, so I won't play any of those next. Well, tell me, would you like something from Fires? Would you like something from... Isn't there a new Grand song? I, I, I yeah, yeah, there is a new song, but I'm just thinking, back. yeah, I'm holding it back. I'm holding it back. Um, let's let's start an immediate poll in the next 10 seconds. Okay, I'll, I'll read you, I'll read you some, I'll read you some, shall I? Long till grass summer, everybody's um, gone to war. Uh -huh. Did anyone here in the arena on Terra Wogan say, James's boyfriend dumped him halfway through the last dream. Any chance you can play human for him? Sophia, Alien, everybody's gone to war, everybody's gone to war, halfway home, Alien. 
What an ass. Mm, right side, right side, peg, our uh, patience. This will be our year, peg, Sunday soon. Daily bread, all bets are off. Mm. Well, I feel for James. Feel for James. Being dumped is never nice. So I'll play him here. Oh, there's Alice there, Nick India from Alice. Hello. I feel a bit cut off from everybody because they've got this Wurlitzer in the way. Oh, looks good, sounds great. Well, I might play it later, I'd move it out, but if I play it, so I'm sorry, you can have sort of cut off. No, you, <laughs> uh, you can, you, it's fine actually, you can see you're fine. Worry, trouble and pain, those all familiar foes come to call again. On the doorstep, cap in their hand, you've emptied all your pockets just to pay the man. One day, one day, we'll forget this all. One day, just for now, we learn to say. something with me um, 
and I couldn't read it properly because the light's very bright and I've got my contact lenses on and also when my contact lenses are on it's like less sharp so I would just request it to be a little bit closer because I can't completely see what oh okay well I'm not sure it's really relevant well maybe later